Well, hello. Here we are getting ready for this huge eclipse coming up. Uh, a couple of things about this eclipse I really don't care for. First of all, the fact that uh, it's in the seventh and first house uh, axis, which usually creates some kind of problems uh, between the people and the government themselves. And uh, we may see some riots uh, stemming out of some of the elections that are coming across the country right now. The other thing I really don't like about it is the people themselves, always the first house, the combust indicating that the fact that the sun is overruling anything that the people might want. So the outcome is not as positive as it could be. Also, the fact that uh, the moon in Sagittarius, uh, its ruler Jupiter is under Taurus. And Taurus, again, is, is weakened because of the fact that Venus is being combust or burn up. And any time that happens, we don't particularly care for it. So I have a retrograde Venus being combust. I would say most of you who are born under the Venus sign of Taurus or a Libra, 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 whichever you prefer, uh, take it easy. I wouldn't push against uh, uh, the current right now. Don't try to swim upstream. Uh, this is not your time. The reason I'm saying this is because of the fact we have f a fixed cardinal cross. We have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, and they are the fixed they are the fixed cross, and any time you see that, whatever you try to accomplish seems to take a little bit longer uh, than what would be required. Also, the fact that Mars is squaring this uh, position is not a good sign either. So I have a T-square here with this eclipse uh, and uh, this burnout Venus, everything on negative fixed stars. I would say be cautious, take your time, and... Uh, might be a good time now to acquiesce rather than push whatever you feel your ideals are, uh, are necessary to go forward with. Now is the time to simply watch, wait, and bide your time.